The most hotly anticipated horror movie of the season is Five Nights at Freddy's, which is projected to have a $50 million opening weekend at the box office, even though it's also launching on Peacock's streaming platform at the same time. So what gives? The horror movie started its life as a 2014 horror game, where you step into the shoes of a new nighttime security guard at an abandoned theme restaurant with animatronic animal puppets, like Chuck E. Cheese. Unfortunately, these ones come alive at night with a desire to kill you. Now, there is a compelling creep factor, and this series has actually spawned 15 games, a couple of novels, and now a movie from Bloomhouse Productions. And the interesting part here is that most of the Freddy fanatics didn't beat any of the games themselves. Much of the fandom growth actually happened through YouTube Let's Play videos, which is where creators record themselves gaming for an audience. Okay, I think I can do this. Freddy fuels audience interest with its complex lore. Players and their viewers can uncover the backstory of what created these cursed puppets through snippets and easter eggs hidden throughout the games. This is in effect a scavenger hunt across 15 games that's kept fans busy for 9 years. In the process that racked up hundreds of millions of views on Let's Play videos and even created thousands of fan-made games to tell their own stories from within Freddy's cursed pizza place. Game companies should plan how their titles play to spectator gaming audiences and empower these audiences with their own engagement spaces. The next great storytelling IP will emerge from among these creative spectators.